Whoop whoop, scribbles a juggalo. And the topic of this video is fucked up security guards at ICP shows. Now, I'm now as I said in my scribbles a juggalo video, <clears throat> I touched upon this subject when I did scribbles the juggalo when I was all painted up and shit on an earlier video. <coughs> but it got me thinking. About security guards at ICP shows. And I'm not talking about se the security that works for ICP because they're all right. Unless, you, you know, unless you have a problem with them or there's some issue, then they're, then they're cool. The people that work for ICP are fine. I'm talking about securities at the venues. Um, and I don't know how it is in other states, but it seems like there's been so many incidences here with me at ICP shows. In particular, let me, let me start with the first one. This, the second bizarre, bizarre show I went to when I first started getting into ICP, going to, going to the shows, not just listening to the album, but I went to Bizarre, Bizarre in Denver, that was fine, but Bizarre, Bizarre in Colorado Springs at the City Auditorium, the dude went through my wallet, looked in my fucking sock, like, like searched me so good, I had a, a, a bowl, because I smoked weed back then, I can't now, but, um, and I had a bowl in my sock, he even found this little one hitter that I had in my sock, and went through my wallet, but he found the bowl, and he took it, oh this is nice, and he took it, and put it in his fucking pocket, and I started a bitch about it, he says, Yo, you got a problem with it, I'll just call that cop over, I'll call, I'll call that cop over here, and then they'll just uh, arrest you or charge you. So he took a fucking bowl for me. So that's the first incident I had with security ICP shows. And then, <clears throat> I think I had some pills or something in my fucking wallet. Thank God they didn't find those. But, um, yeah, I had some issues back then. But, um, <clears throat> God, they were dicks. It, it pissed me off for the most of the show. It's just this fucked up attitude. Um, you know, and, and they're usually, like... Want to be cops, and not all cops are bad, but a lot of them have attitudes. All right, I occasionally I'll run across a cool cop, but they're usually like want to be cops, and and that's the problem. They're not even cops. They're just fucking bodybuilding dicks with this want want to be cop attitude, abusing their authority over you. Uh, that was the first incident, and then I think of the Twisted show at the Og at the um, summit where there weren't too many face painters. It was Boondocks. No, it wasn't. It was Twisted and Head P.E. Was it Tech 9 I don't know who it was. But anyway, um, that's security there. They were stupid because there weren't too many face painters, and I was painted up because I always am with the red shaggy. And they um, fucking wouldn't let me in. Like, uh, or show your ID. So I show them my ID, and they're like, we can't let you in, that face paint on. You're going to have to wash it off. Like, am I taking this off? This is a part of a, an ICP show. A lot of jugglers paint their face. Well, we're not letting you in. So I finally, after arguing with them, for, you know, I had to go off to the side, and they're letting other jugglers in. I had to go off to the side, and they're having the same problem with the other jugglers that are painted up. Um, and I finally came to agreement that I wasn't going to drink, that if they put an X, the marker, on my hand, like I was under 21 or under or 18 or under or some bullshit, then I could get in. So they X my hand, and that was fine. Um, but then when I went out to have a cigarette that same night, I had went through the same problem. Almost didn't get in. They had to call the fucking management over. I was outside for 10 minutes in the cold trying to get back in. Almost didn't get back in when it, when it was fine. When... People that weren't painted up could go out and have a cigarette and just fine and come back in. Um, and then there was a black sheep twisted at the black sheep in Colorado Springs. This this one security officer. He was working security, but he was an un, he was a off duty police officer, or he was on duty, but he was going through people's wallets. It was horrible. It was just fucking unbelievable. Um, slowing down the concert so much that that it made me decide I'll never go to a show at the Black Sheep again, even if ICP's playing there. 
even if it's a free concert, I will never go through that shit again because they are so stupid. And that's the black sheep in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, he slowed down the line so much because he was searching people so well that the show had begun. And the first band was on, the opening band was on. I think even Twisted had started performing and there were still jugglers trying to get in. It took hours to get through that line because of this one dickhead security officer who was going through people's wallets. And then the, the, the fucking worst part of it is they wouldn't let you bring your hatchet man in. If you had a hatchet man on, this is my gathering one, but this ain't very long with it. They, they said, you cannot bring a hatchet man in because people are, are going to swing them around and cut people. They were so ignorant about it. Um, like, I've seen a couple of jugglers sharpen the little hatchet at, at times. That is so rare, though. And it's just fucking stupid. So I had to, luckily, they let me check it at the door like a coat. Leave my hatchet man at the door. And I got it back later. But it was just fucking ridiculous. Just that kind of shit. And then, at the Ogden, first Dark, Lo Dark Lotus show at the Ogden, that was um, also, uh, like, I'd gotten in a scooter accident, and I had a surgery because I had a broken clavicle, t complete tear in my rotator cuff, uh, broken right wrist, so I had two slings, and um, I was in, I was really close, man, uh, to the front, and Fago throwing everywhere, and the security guy, this big buff motherfucker, kept pushing me real hard, like I was up against the bar, kept like pushing me so hard, pushing me over, like violently pushing on us, and it was just some fucked up shit, you can tell Jay, Jay didn't like it man, Jay was noticing it, in fact he threw, he tossed me a Fago, and I, and Magnet witnessed this, and it hit my chest, I couldn't catch anything too well, because I was so, so fucking crippled, it hit my chest and fell down, and then he reached over and handed me one, a full Fago. The, first, the, other, the, first, the other one was full too. It wasn't even open. And then I grabbed that. That was pretty cool. I saved it. Didn't even drink it. Saved it for a while. But anyway, there's. Um, do you have any? If you ninjas have any stories about fucked up security guards at ICP shows? Cause, man, there's a lot of fucking crazy stories. They just. They're not too familiar with juggalos is the main problem I think, and they overreact. That's all I got. I'm scribbles juggalo. Whoop whoop.